Um, my name's Carl Chappell, I'm an uh, artist in residence with Ballet Cymru, a wonderful dance company based in Newport in South Wales. Um, I've been working with the company for five or six years and I go into a rehearsal with them, I draw in rehearsals, I film them in rehearsals and I also um, sometimes work with dancers in my painting studio where we find um, poses through improvisation and um, experimentation. Okay, so there's a, a selection of pictures here um, from the last few years, uh, mostly of uh, Ballet Cymru pre-professional dancers, which is the programme that the, the company runs for newly graduated dancers where they can get some experience working with a professional dance company. Um, they're always really inspiring people to work with. And for example, there's um, a couple of pictures that I made with Brazilian dancers Julia and Rena, um, where they were improvising at um, the Riverfront Studio, Riverfront Theatre in Newport, and I made a, a number of um, quite sketchy paintings um, with them, which are, there's a few examples of them included in the exhibition here at Canvas. Um, other, others here include uh, some of my lockdown paintings, which started uh, in the late spring, early summer of 2020, when I emailed a group of dancers at Ballet Cymru and proposed that perhaps we try to experiment um, and see whether we can do any kind of collaboration online during lockdown. The company, of course, was shut down, the theatres were closed, the studios were closed, so everybody was at home. And um, I began a process of um, working through Zoom initially, uh, with, with dancers improvising in groups of two and three. Um, that became really complicated, although it was, it was an interesting process. I made lots of charcoal drawings, essentially, um, with that. But then later we developed it and I started working more with video sharing, where dancers made film of themselves improvising and finding poses, holding poses through improvis improvisation. Um, and that led to a, a series of small um, 30 by 23 centimetre panel paintings of dancers in the, in the corner of rooms. And the reality was that these were um, bedrooms, kitchens, living rooms, gardens and so on, um, but domestic spaces primarily. But I kind of simplified it down and used this little corner of a room motif to connect them all and and it was I really got a lot from doing it and I, and I feel that it kind of explored that, that 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 paradox that we all experienced during lockdown where we were all sort of physically disconnected remote from one another but at the same time having a, a shared experience which was you know connected people in a, in a, in a bizarre way um, and that's what the, that little motif kind of represents in this series. Um, a few other pictures involve um, dancers which, from, which I made from film of dancers in rehearsal. Um, there are a few examples of another way that I work with the dancers, which is through um, observing, sketching and filming in rehearsals, when the, when the dancers are actually in a rehearsal studio or in a dress rehearsal in a the theatre. Um, and an example of that is this uh, little picture here of pre-professional dancers, um, Eilish, Romy and Erin, um, who are beautiful dancers and I was really drawn by the patterns that, and it's, it's, it's difficult to explain, but the uh, the movement and the relationships between the figures as they're, as they're working in, in space and trying to um, bring that together and represent it in, a, in, a, in an oil painting is, is, a, is, a, is a real challenge. Um, but at the same time, it's such an inspiring starting place that I, that I really enjoy doing it and I was, I was pleased with this picture here. And Louise Wall is the first one from the, of the lockdown paintings uh, to feature just the one dancer in the corner of the room and this one really um, Anne was in in her garage um, and uh, I just decided to put in these lines here representing the corner of the garage that I could see behind her and that's what that's that was a, a like a penny drop moment really when I thought that could 
that could actually work as a, something that would bring together a whole series of pictures. Um, and that began, I think it was a series of about 35 or 40 paintings or so of dancers, which as I started posting them, posting images on, on Instagram, um, I found that I was approached by other dancers. That it, that, so it, it started as a ballet company project, but expanded into working with dancers in, in Poland, in Paris, in um, uh, Prague, Ireland. Um, so it's, it, it was, a, you know, the, the huge, huge drawbacks of trying to work during lockdown and the initial frustrations of not having that face-to-face -face contact being able to work in the same room as people, um, there, there, we began to find some silver linings and one of the silver linings was that I ended up working with a number of dancers I would never otherwise have worked with and it was all through this lovely kind of organic process of posting on social media so um, I was very happy about that. Um, and I think I should say something about Ballet Cymru. Um, so Ballet Cymru is a wonderful little company based down um, in South Wales just outside Newport. They every year put on a, a classical ballet, but they also put on a um, shorter contemporary pieces, yeah, often with guest choreographers, and they attract a really diverse range of dancers, all of them classical ballet dancers, but also dancers who have um, backgrounds in other dance traditions. So it's a, it's a really inspiring group to work with. Um, so I'm extremely grateful that I have a residency with them and they let me come and go and come into rehearsals get to know the dancers, get to work individually sometimes, um, as well as with the company as a whole. So um, if anyone sees Ballet Cymru is in their town, please go and see them. They're, they're a wonderful, wonderful company. Um, another company that I got to work with a little bit during lockdown and since is uh, James Wilton Dance. And there's a painting here from one of um, James's dances, um, Ollie Robertson. Uh, James Wilton Dance uh, is a little, very small little company, brilliant, really energetic contemporary dance company based down in Brighton in the south of England. Um, and again, I uh, would strongly recommend going to see them. They're extraordinary dancers um, and a lovely, inspiring um, group to work with as well. So uh, I'm very grateful to all the dancers um, and particularly Ballet Cymru and James Wilton Dance. Um, for giving me such access and making an eye on me to uh, make all these pictures.